6.44 is the time this morning. There are marches happening all over Austin today, five of them all to celebrate the abilities of people who are blind or have visual impairments. The National Federation of the Blind celebrates White Cane Day every October. Chris Davis is joining us now. And Chris, the white cane really is a symbol of independence for these people. Yeah, it's, it's really a tool, and students learn to use them to navigate at the Texas School for the Blind and Visually Impaired. It's especially helpful in places where accessibility is not keeping up. Are you ready to jump into the lesson? To get from here to the garden across campus, Brandon Aleman needs a plan. Now you have the south side of the map. The almost 17-year-old has been going to school here since seventh grade. What sound clues do you think you can anticipate? An actor, YouTuber, musician, he likes to check out Waterloo Records and Half Price Books. I have visited, uh, visited lots of places and met, a lot, met some friends. When he's not navigating the quad. And that's exactly where the landmark is of the bench. Getting around here. To the business building. Is more or less controlled. We'll cross Wildcat Run. We're pretty much good to go. So it's still a long way to go for every city on having 100% accessibility with sidewalks. Scott Meyer is an orientation and mobility specialist at the Texas Workforce Commission. 45th walk sign is on. Austin on the whole is pretty accessible. The further out you go from downtown, he says, the less accessible it is. But he doesn't want people to think in terms of how to help the blind community, just make sidewalks better. Then it helps everybody. Brandon included. Congratulations, high five. Yeah, nice. He plans to enter a transitional education program. And I'm thinking of moving to Houston after that. You ready to go make some rosemary tea? Oh, ho, ho. But first he has to finish navigating high school. So the city is working to make more parts of Austin accessible in 2016. City leaders approved the sidewalk master plan. The goal was to build new sidewalks and improve existing ones. Since then, the city has spent about 15 to 20 million dollars a year wow. and poured about 430 miles of new sidewalks. But to fix all of the high priority areas, it would take double that yearly investment. So we've got these scooters in town mm -hmm. that tend to get left around everywhere. For Annoying sure. for us, but I would imagine for them that could be a much bigger deal. Yeah. It could be dangerous. For sure. You don't want anything, of course, blocking sidewalks. But again, the people that I talked to yesterday, they didn't really mention the scooters mm. specifically. What they did mention, and I, I found this really interesting, was uh, foliage overgrown uh, bushes and trees that hang out onto sidewalks. That's a much bigger oh. risk that I hadn't really thought about. So yeah. things that their canes won't necessarily alert them to, uh, you can get hit in the face with things. And that's one of the cheaper things that the city can do, they say, to make sidewalks easier. Now, five white cane marches will be taking place today across Austin. Four of them start at nine. And uh, we are quickly flipping through these on the screen, but all of these locations are available on KXAN.com. All right, Chris, thank you for that.